my channel. So today we have the brand new Jimmy Choo perfume, hotly anticipated. I've had so many messages asking when it's going to come out, when I'm going to be able to review it and I can say that it has just arrived. I'm going to give you my first impressions, take you through the different notes in here. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes here, so check out my hundreds of other videos. I have lots on Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. The original is actually my favorite perfume, which means I'm even more excited for this new release. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will leave links down below to where you can get this in UK, Europe, US, at the moment this is exclusive to the perfume shop who kindly sent me this. So the new perfume which is called I Want To comes in um, a totally different bottle to what we've seen from the mainstream Jimmy Choo perfumes before. It is actually quite similar to their limited um, sort of quite special range that are sold at Harrods here in the UK. They're much more expensive than the normal ones. They come in this type of bottle, but we haven't seen this bottle before from Jimmy Choo in the, um, in the mainstream. Normally they come in sort of circle or like rounded square little bottles. So first time we've had like a really tall one like this. When I first opened the package and saw the box, you can see that it's like really sparkly and I love these sparkly boxes. I started seeing them more and more from different brands. The Jimmy Choo Blossom um, box is sparkly and I've always really liked that. So I really like this red color and the sparkly packaging. So definitely fan of the packaging. Then in terms of the bottle, it has um, a kind of like a matte sparkly around the top that says Jimmy Choo. And then obviously we have the JC logo on the actual bottle, which is the same as what we see on their like handbags and accessories, that same JC. Then the liquid is slightly beigey, like slightly pinky beige, um, but pretty transparent. So of course the main question is, what does it smell like? So this is a white floral perfume with undertones of vanilla. The main note I get from this and the sort of star of the show is jasmine. So if you like your jasmine perfumes like Alien, like Dior Pure Poison, then I think you're definitely gonna like this. And I can confirm that it is a very strong perfume. When I sprayed this, I could really spray it, like smell it on myself. Um, it's really very strong, it has good projection, good lasting power. Um, I'd say this is stronger than a lot of the other Jimmy Choo perfumes that are out at the moment, if not the strongest that they have. I think what's quite interesting is it really reminds me of the perfumes that are being released around now, like late 2020 and now into 2021. So, you know, we had the Valentino Volche Viva perfume, which was a white floral with vanilla undertones. We had the Armani My Way, which again was a strong white floral, though that was tuberose. And this probably is closest to the Volche Viva one. This obviously seems to be a theme at the moment, these like really quite strong, but still very feminine floral smells. When you look at the perfume notes in here, it lists things like mandarin orange and peach. I have to say, I don't really get that. I get maybe a distant hint of a warm fruitiness, but the jasmine really is like dominating and that's really all I'm really getting. Even the vanilla, as it dries down and you know it's been there for a while, I get a warm vanilla, almost reminded me of a tonka bean smell actually. Very warm and cozy, but still the jasmine is the strongest smell in the dry down. So it stays from the beginning through to the end of the as the perfume develops. There is a little bit of lily in here as well, but again, I think that's been lost by the strength of the jasmine here. I think this could definitely, like would definitely be a great evening perfume because of its strength. It has a sort of sexiness to it and it's definitely quite universal in the sense that I think any age could wear this and it would work. In terms of daytime, I think it depends on the occasion, like 
probably not in a super professional environment it might be a bit too heady a bit too strong but if you're just you know going shopping or whatever then I'm sure it would be fine but this is definitely for someone that wants other people to be able to smell their perfume they want to be able to smell it on their self they want like a strong strong floral smell and um, it's definitely a mo strong modern smell and I think it is a bit sort of sexy and it's definitely feminine but like in a very strong way not in a delicate way it is of course an eau de parfum not an eau de toilette hence um it being so strong if this was an eau de toilette it'd be amazingly strong it comes in three sizes which are unusual milliliters you've got a 45 mil this is the 60 mil and then there's a 100 mil and the prices are 45 65 85 so overall i think that this is relatively good value for money um you know this is much cheaper than your chanel's dior's but it has that great lasting power and it's around a similar price point to ones that are similar to it i think like the new valentino and the new armani so i think the price is quite good I'm really pleased that it has this strength and this lasting power and even though you know if jasmine isn't for you I think I still recognize that this is a good smell and it's strong and like it's a proper perfume sometimes you know some of the Jimmy Choo perfumes are quite weak and you know it can be a shame when they don't last but this definitely you know you're getting a proper perfume that lasts here which is always nice of course so yeah I think I am impressed with this and definitely recommend if you're a jasmine lover, I know it's difficult to try perfumes at the moment given um, the global pandemic, but if you love jasmine, I think this is a safe blind buy. If um, you are wary of getting something very strong or you're not really sure if you like jasmine, then you know maybe you could blind buy the smaller size, but maybe wait to try it, try and get a sample or something. So yeah, this is the new one. I think it is worth the hype and I think this will be a good seller because of that strength. People will smell it and love it and, and buy it. So well done and thank you Jimmy Choo for another release. So that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye.